Hello, adventurers and sun seekers. Today we're visiting our top five must not miss beaches when visiting the beautiful Turks and Caicos Islands. Turks and Caicos is known to have some of the best beaches in the world and we definitely agree. All the beaches in today's vlog are located on the main island of Providenciales, the most popular tourist island of all the islands in Turks and Caicos. Some of these beaches are off the beaten path, so we recommend renting a car to visit most of the beaches that we'll be showing you today. Before we start, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video from around the world. First up is Taylor's Bay, which we would rate the world's number one beach and we have visited a lot of beaches in all our adventures. Located in the south coast of Provo, near to Chalk Sound, Taylor's Bay is definitely off the beaten path. You won't find crowds of people here and there's actually no official sign indicating how to get to the beach. Public access is located on Ocean Point Road, where you can park your car and then you follow the footpath just past the Sulmarie Villas gate. It's an easy walk and it takes about five minutes. Once you arrive to Taylor Bay, you're greeted by a secluded white sand beach that is at least two thirds of a mile wide facing the western portion of Provo. The beach is yours, so find a place and sit back and relax or enter the crystal clear water of Taylor Bay. The water laps softly at the shore and there are virtually no waves. It's also amazingly shallow and you can walk over 100 yards from the shore and without the depth of water increasing by much. The beach is perfect for kids and even the littlest members of the family will feel comfortable experiencing the tranquil waters. Be sure to bring any chairs, umbrellas or food or drinks that you would like because there's no public facilities located at the beach. Taylor's Bay is definitely a not to be missed beach in Provo. Next is the close by Sapadelia Bay, which is also one of our favorite beaches. Still located off the beaten path, but not so much as Taylor's Bay. Parking can be found on the side of the road, but is limited, so come early if you want to find a good place. The beach is reached by a short sandy walkway, and once you reach the beach, there are various vendors where you can purchase food, drinks, and water sport rentals. The lounges here are not free, and you must rent them by the day. Beware, there is no set price, so negotiate and negotiate to get the price that you want. The beach is a 900 foot long stretch and the sand is sugary white. The water here is very shallow, calm and clear and it is an excellent choice for families and those visiting with small children. It's definitely a great beach for kids who are learning to swim, and our children loved it so much, we spent almost seven hours here. Blue Hills Beach is not so much for swimming, but a great place for everything conch. The popular De Conch Shack has a great location on the beach where you can search for a conch shell in the water to take home as a souvenir. You can also buy a conch shell from a vendor on the beach that is already cleaned and polished. We had a lot of fun finding the perfect shell for us. After, you can eat at the restaurant that also makes a great conch too. Heading back to the southwest coast of Provo is Chalk Sound National Park, a natural lagoon that features shallow and brilliant turquoise water with hundreds of small rocky islands. The 
The water is clean and algae free and a great place to take a dip or rent a kayak or paddle board. Las Brisas Restaurant and Bar, which overlooks Chalk Sound, has a kayaks for rent and also organized pontoon cruises on Chalk Sound. Last but not least is the world famous Grace Bay, the golden jewel of Provo and the most popular beach in Turks and Caicos. It's consistently rated as the number one beach in the world and for good reason. The sand is powdery white and what our kids described as walking on marshmallows. This is where the bulk of the resorts in Provo are located. Our favorite is the Somerset, a five-star luxury resort in what we think is the most beautiful oceanfront location in Grace Bay. There are a lot of activities to take part in along Grace Bay Beach. You can snorkel, rent water sports equipment from your resort, play in the offshore park, and take water boat excursions to other snorkeling areas of Provo. You can also walk along Grace Bay's beach to the Bite Reef, which is located near Coral Gardens. It is an excellent snorkeling reef and is actually the most popular snorkeling site in Turks and Caicos. That's it for our top five beaches at Turks and Caicos. I'm sure if you've been to Turks and Caicos, you might have different favorite beaches. If so, please let us know your favorite beaches down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell for notifications so you're notified whenever we post a new video from around the world. See you on the next one.